the align tools allow you to align subtools in the Z spheres to a previously set alignment driver. Like many other things in the Mad Pony tool bag, they are view dependent. So if I try to align something here, I get please select view first. We do need to select a view first. Let's go to the top view here. Now, another thing that you need to have set up is an alignment driver, because if I now try to align this, please set an alignment driver first. This is a subtool I have selected at the moment. And if I press set alignment driver, now cube A, the selected subtool, becomes the alignment driver. Now, any other tool that I click and select, for example, let's select cube C here, I can align using these buttons, I can align it to the alignment driver. So for example, for the top edge here, I'm aligning it to the top edge of that driver, this cube, this first cube here. I can align it to the center or to the bottom edge. And I can also align it like this to the center there or to the right edge. Now, as you can see, these images refer to the alignment driver. Now, these buttons down here refer to the currently selected subtool. So, for example, if I align this to the top edge, it's aligning to the top edge. But here, if I hover it, it says align bottom edge. It refers to this bottom edge here. So I'm aligning this bottom edge to the driver's top edge. If I press this other button that says align top edge, I'm going to align this top edge to the top edge of the driver, as you can see there. And if I press this middle button, which this says align center, I'm aligning the center of the selected subtool to the driver. And the same goes for all the other buttons. So for example, if I now align here, if I want to align to the center, I can align my left edge of this subtool, the selected subtool, which as you can see here, I got selected pressed. I'm aligning it to the center. If I press this, I'm gonna align this edge to the center of this subtool like so, or I can select to align this edge to the center of that subtool. I can change my alignment driver at any point. So if I click this one and press set alignment driver, now B, this one is my alignment driver. So if I click this guy here, I'm aligning this right edge to the left edge of the alignment driver. So if I go back to this one and set that as the alignment driver, if I come here and select visible, it will align all visible subtools. I only have two subtools here, but it will do that for them. So if I want to align visible subtools to the left edge, as you can see, they're both aligned to the left edge. Now, because two subtools have been aligned, if I press Control Z to undo my operation, it's obviously not going to work because the operation occurred inside the different subtool. So now what I can do is press this undo button and that will undo the operation. This will affect visible subtools and you also have the all, which will affect all subtools. So now they're all both aligned to the top edge right there. And the buttons also work. So they're center aligned to the top edge right there. And you got your undo, which you can keep pressing. Now this undo only works after an alignment operation. So if you create the alignment and go into one of these subtools and do something else, the undo is not going to work as well. Now I'm doing it this from a top view. If I go to a left view and let me go to place all, all visible grids here, it behaves exactly the same way. So if I align, if I align to the top edge, oh, I got it centered. And the, the one, the subtool that I have selected is the alignment driver. And that's why that happened. I'll just control Z here. And if I now just say all, now they all align to the top of the alignment driver, except the alignment driver, of course. So as you can see, it's view dependent. And even if it's on the opposite side, it also works. The same thing goes for Z-Sphere. So we have these two buttons up here and we can select if we are aligning subtools or Z-Spheres. So I'm gonna open up a Z-Sphere project and I'm gonna create some Z-Spheres here and I'll, I'll turn on symmetry so I can show you the polyframe operation. And then I'll just come here, turn off symmetry Okay, so I got some Z-spheres going on. And if I turn on my polyframe, you can see that when you create 
these spheres with symmetry. The way it works is when you create a Z sphere at the same time as another Z sphere, they get the same polygroup. So with symmetry, when I created these two, they got the same polygroup, and when I created these two, they got the same polygroup. As you can see, they're the same color. These ones were created without symmetry, and they have different polygroups. The reason why I'm talking about polygroups is that when you press this sphere, if you look at this button here that says visible, now instead of visible, you have polygroup. If I go into selected, for example, I want to set my alignment driver, if I, I press W, so, okay, I'll set my alignment driver as this Z sphere right here, and I press set alignment driver, it tells me the index of the Z sphere. This is in Z sphere number zero, the first Z sphere. Now this is a different project, so I wanna make sure that I'm in the right view, in the front view here. This is my alignment driver, so I want to align these three guys, and I'll just move this one down a little bit. I want to align these three guys to that Z sphere, so I want to do use this, but I don't want to uh, affect these other guys that are up here. So what I can do is, if I just mask this, now if I press, now if I press this everything will get aligned to the alignment driver except for the alignment driver of course that would not be affected let's look at polygroups for example if i just click on one of these spheres and this sphere has the same polygroup as that guy there so if i align it like this selecting polygroup it will align there so if i select this one and this one has the same polygroup and I align, it will align like so. Now for these operations, you can just use Control Z and undo, it's just gonna do one undo. As you noticed, Control D actually undo two operations at once. And this is because when we manipulate or add Z-spheres programmatically, like we do in the MadPony tool bag, aligning and adding in Nudge Snap, the undo history sometimes has unexpected results. And I'll speak a bit more about that once we get to Nudge and Snap Z-spheres. And of course, these buttons down here work exactly in the same way. So if I zoom in into this Z-sphere here, and remember, this is still our alignment driver, and I select this guy here, and go into Selected, it's just going to use this guy. So if I align to the left, as you can see, it aligns to the left of the Z sphere radius right there. And if I say I want to align the center to the left edge, well, the left side of that Z sphere, it will align the center of this Z sphere to the left of the alignment driver.